Hello guys, this is Anjir Vakas Ahmed and in today's video, I'm going to share with you people how to use cost accounts and resources in single project schedule and how to manage your project with the help of resource assignment tab. There are a few steps you need to follow up. So here, step by step, I'm going to share with you the information that the first thing, uh, whenever you are going to use cost accounts, so make sure you have to create resources under enterprise tab. So the first thing you have to write here, resources to create under enterprise tab, here we are. So if I'll click enterprises, I would go into the resources and here I can find that if I'll click on this tab, it will uh, restore all my generated resources. And all these resources are assigned on my other projects, but here I need to create only one resource. I can go with my single resource. There are multiple options. I can go for multiple resources as well. So what is the purpose? The first thing I have to assign this resource to my all the activities given over here. So it's very simple thing. I have to go into the activity details and uh, either I can, there are two steps. Uh, first, you have to go into the activity details. You can go into the resources tab, add resource and you can make assignment of this resource. I have already done it and very, uh, you can see that easy thing. You can uh, select all these resources, shift button on keyboard and right click and assign and there is a resources tab and just click that single resource. You got it? So that's how you are going to make your all resources. But first you are going to, um, whenever you are going to develop that resource, you have to make basic, uh, you can say that uh, settings. So if you have this window open up, okay, that's great. Uh, if it's not open up on your lap laptop, you can make right click and there is details. Just make sure this, if you are going to click this one, it is going to open up this one. So in general, it's okay. Codes, it's fine. In details, um, you can check box this actual. I will just make something like this. Auto compute actuals, calculate cost from units. That's great. And then the major thing in unit and prices, and you are going to make... Uh, uh, there is one point to understand. If you have different kind of prices, uh, then you are going to make multiple resources to generate in your resources window. Obviously, the concept point is if you are, because if you are going to assign single resource, it's going to carry one time price and uh, it will be variable whenever you are going to assign on activity. I will show you how it's going to be variable, but if there are multiple costs, like here it is 50 dirhams per hour, sometimes it's 30 dirhams. On some activities, there are resources which are being cost 40 dirhams per hour. So you need to add multiple resources as per your requirement. You got my point? And after assignment, when I will take you on activity detail, activity window, you can see over here how it will vary the things. This budgeted units, it's going to multiply See, this budgeted unit is going to multiply with that 50 dirhams and it's going to give you, see, this much cost, 4,000. Ultimately, the, you know, total price is going to be calculated by multiplication of this budgeted units into that price, which is given over here. See, this is 50 dirham given over here. But the major thing, if you have per hour rate different, you have to create multiple resources. Just make sure about that. Okay, clear? Now, the trail of this concept is just like that. There is an activity. To that activity, you are going to re assign resource. You got it? This is actually resource detail. You are going to assign this activity a single resource. Okay? And to this resource, you are going to assign cost account. This is activity. To activity, you are going to assign resource. And to this resource, you are going to assign cost account. So how to work or understand with cost account kind of things. So I'm going to clear this window and I will share with you into enterprise again. You can find here cost account. Just click on this window. Don't get confused with activity codes and cost accounts. Activity codes, a lot of people get confused with. Activity codes are directly 
uh, you can say that assigned to the activities, whereas cost accounts are not directly assigned to activities. They are going to assign the way I have just explained a moment ago. So once I'm going to click over here, I have already um, developed these few uh, cost accounts, let's say. This is point. Uh, you can make the you know things like you can make add button, and you can say that your company is going to say that this is zero nine double zero like this one, which is already not there. And make here if it's mechatronics kind of work package as per your project. See, it's these cost account codes and these cost account abbreviations are when whatever they are they will provide you just this is cost account id this is cost account name so just close it and now what i'm going to do see from first one trench excavation i will just see here this belongs to actually civil work so i just make here civil cost account one by one this is also belongs to this one okay civil then there is foundation also belongs to civil so i will make civil cost account and then separator foundation, I will make civil. And then I have lowering of pipe. Actually, you have to see your company project sheets where they have given the instructions which activity carrying which kind of resource. So here it is actually piping. So actually it is 12 inch piping or six inch. So every activity is going to be, see this one. So these are the, just give me a moment one by one i'm going to complete this task so here is hydro testing again okay then again one more time i will shift sign i think we can do this one where is cost account i guess we can't do no 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 sorry 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 i was also Confused with the thing, yeah. So one by one. So there is a 24 inch. Yeah? I was thinking this is directly. Sometimes it happens with anybody, yeah. So there is cost account 24 inch pipe, NDT 24. Sorry, the here is 24. Hydro testing is 24. Actually, this is for the tracking of your resources, your things. Equipment installation, there is equipment installation, cost account, there is separator, and this one. There is testing and commissioning, and we have accordingly. So it's done. See, everything is given a certain cost account. So how I can get benefit about these cost accounts for tracking for something like that? So go into the project, the third most important thing. Here is the resource assignment tab. Click on this one. And uh, here you can see that, just make sure, assignment details. I'll share with you the things. Just wait a moment. So here we are. We have this, our resource assignment tab. So how we can do this one? We can apply some filters. We can apply many more things. So I can see that uh, in resource assignment tab, I can find some filters over here and I can find some parameter like cost account. I can go down, down in C category and I can find if there is something starting from cost account. C over here. And uh, if some cost account is under, see this one, I want to see civil. I want to make apply and I can see only those cost accounts which are C over here. Let me check all the activities under that cost account will be over here. And let me check if time scale is okay. Okay, now it's okay. See, and there is multiple, that is the way you can make. This is what I'm tracking over here right now. I will just, I'm tracking right now budgeted units. But if I want to change it, you just know how to do this one. Go into the filters. Just make your specific cost account, whatever. See, if I'll change with pipe six inch, I have to make it add over here, apply. It's not sure, uh, you know, showing up any data because I need to make like this one because these activities are going to happen 7 June. I have to make visible 7 June. 
synchronization see and here we are in june this is the one way the second most important way i have to decide what kind of data i, I want show here so right click spreadsheet fields customize and i can if i need to make cost i can make like this way cumulative cost time interval cost so there is cost and uh, budget cost over here i can show two parameters three parameters at a time but it's the best practice to show one parameter at a time this time i'm going to show uh, all the activities under this cost account uh, they should show over here cost instead of this see this and that's how i'm going to make sure that how i can track for my under my cost account activities i can show up all the things under resource assignment tab so there is a procedure and one more thing we can make over here very good and precise tracking if we talk about cost accounts so i'm going to apply this filter on this activity tab activity window so what i'm going to do I, there is a filter i will go here and uh, any random filter i want to modify just i will click on this one because now i want to segregate on all my activities on the basis of my cost accounts assigned to them actually their resources so here i'm going to modify it and i will create one filter over here there is parameter will be given over here cost account i'm going to select that one is going is equal and this one is the cost account name so my value of that cost account is equal to this one i need all these activities on my table rest of all the other activities which are not carrying this cost account should be disappeared from this dashboard so it's going to uh, scrutinize it's going to segregate it's going to filter out my all project with respect to my cost accounts on my instructions so what i'm going to do i will click on this okay and uh, i will make apply and it is going to give me only those activities which are carrying that those resources which are assigned those cost accounts now there is one more for a very beneficial thing over here now i am going to activate activate my now i am going to activate my s curves so here we have resource activity usage profile so here we are see this s curve is only for the activities carrying that cost account if i will remove that filter from here just uncheck apply and now it's going to give me whole project s curve see and again if i need to make modification i will check again from my enterprises cost accounts i will make this one 524 or 56 okay I will make this one okay just for another exercise so i'm going to share filter this one modify equal pipe six sorry it should be as it is okay okay and apply only those see as curves belongs to only those activities so this is very uh, you know, quick and very beneficial feature. Must use it and try to write in this video's comments. Thank you very much.